Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 52, Cloning a Vagrant Box on Another Machine. In this episode, you'll learn how to clone your vagrant box and install a clone box on your local machine. Be sure you have VirtualBox and Vagrant installed and a Vagrant box created. You can check out Ruby Snack number 50 for instructions and also check out Ruby Snack number 51 to set it all up for your Rails app. First up, let's create that clone. In the same folder as the Vagrant file, run Vagrant package. This will take some time. It took about 10 minutes for me. It will be a big file, so transfer to the other computer in a way that you transfer large files. In other words, Dropbox, we transfer, flash drive, etc. Note that if you receive an error, run Vagrant status to troubleshoot. And you'll see that I had to do that in just a moment. In your terminal, run Vagrant package in the folder that has the Vagrant file. And as I mentioned, I actually came across an error. It said that it was still running. I tried Vagrant Halt, Vagrant Suspend. When I ran Vagrant Status, I saw that it was in an aborted state, so I had to Vagrant up again. Once it was up, when I ran Vagrant Package again, then it gracefully shut down the VM and then proceeded to export the VM. Again, this took quite a while. I've cut quite a bit of it out, but now let's just check our folder. So a little ls-la to show you how big that file is. Pretty darn big. It depends how many software packages you installed on the Vagrant box as to how big it will be. So I actually have two drives on my computer. So I moved that package to a new drive and saved it there as if I had sent it to myself. So now I'm ready to install the cloned box. So be sure to save the package.box file where you want to install it. For example, in your sites folder, or if you're going to have multiple boxes, you'll probably want to create another folder named your app name with box, for example. And in that same folder, run vagrant box add package.box and then dash dash name and then your app name underscore box. Then you'll vagrant init your app name box and then you'll run vagrant up. Here we are in the folder that I made, Frosty with Box, and I have the file in there, package.box. And so now I'm going to run the Vagrant Box ad with the name Frosty Box, because that's what I've named this app. Now it does take a little while as well. I've sped this up, but not quite as long as packaging it up. Now let's go ahead and run init. And again, it needs to be the name of your app, whatever you named your, your box. So I'll say frosty box. And now it's added the vagrant file. So if we ls, we see the package.box and the vagrant file. Now we're going to run vagrant up. And it's going to build our box. This does take time. And so I've skipped ahead to show you that it's finished. Finally, let's test the clone app to make sure that our vagrant box sees the cloned app. So first you'll clone the app into the directory with the vagrant file, and then we'll check the files. So we'll run vagrant ssh to get into the box. We'll cd into backslash vagrant and ls to make sure it has access to that cloned app. You could then even cd into the app and run rails s just to be sure. Finally, remove the package.box file because it is super large and you don't need it anymore. I've already moved the file, so I'll just show you ls that I have Frosty now in the same folder with the Vagrant file. So now we'll run Vagrant SSH and it will boot up our Vagrant box. And let's go ahead and cd into the Vagrant file. And when we ls, we see it has access to our Frosty app. Now I will remove that package.box. And if I ls, you see it is gone. That's it for this episode of Ruby Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to sign on up. If you are not already subscribed on YouTube, click that big red button to do so. You get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you have any comments or questions, it's best to leave them on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.